Hi Libra, this is your December 20th through December 26th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you are not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the Empress. We have the Ace of Swords, we have the Six of Swords clarified by the Ace of Cups, then we have uh, the Star clarified by the High Priestess and the Three of Wands, and we have the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer Scorpio or Pisces, or you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, so the first phrase I heard in my head was uh, either now or never. Somebody is coming into your life. Uh, with this uh, Knight of Cups energy, the card that came out on the bottom of the deck. It could be a water sign, Cancer Scorpio or Pisces, or this is the love offer coming from this person. Whenever I see the Knight of Cups, it usually represents someone who's got uh, genuine, authentic, loving emotions towards the person they're coming towards. Um, and uh, there you are, Libra, the Empress. Um, the first card that came out on the left. Um, the Empress is... Uh, Everybody knows who the Empress is, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. The Empress does not require an introduction. The Empress could also be abundance in its purest form. Um, the Empress is one of the most positive cards in the deck. And uh, whenever the Empress comes out in my readings, it's uh, usually the sign from above for the, the connection or the relationship to move forward. And uh, speaking of... Moving forward, we have the Ace of Swords, and then we have the Six of Swords, clarified by the Ace of Cups. So we've got two Aces here. So the Ace of Swords could uh, represent um, a brand spanking new beginning. The Ace of Swords could represent some kind of truth coming out. So perhaps this person um, has been in your life for a while, and uh, they're going to come forward and confess their love to you. And they may say it's either now or never. Okay, the Ace of Swords is basically cuts your life into two halves in a positive way. The, the, the half that was before this uh, event and the half that comes after this event. And uh, they will confess their love to you and I think you're going to go for it because uh, we have uh, the Six of Swords clarified by the Ace of Cups. The Six of Swords is a card of a movement and I think you're moving towards the Ace of Cups. Um, the Ace of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to love offers, so that's what you're moving towards uh, with the Six of Swords. Um, then we have uh, the Star, clarified by the High Priestess and the Three of Wands. Those three cards are actually the outcome. I specifically asked what the outcome is going to be, and those three cards came out. So the High Priestess, right there in the middle, this is you um, having your intuition come forward and this is kind of like you know that this is the right person for you you know you're making the right decision by uh, getting together with this person and uh, the star is either an Aquarius you're dealing with or this is a wish come true and uh, usually the star is the type of wish that we wish for or hope for for a very long time so perhaps you realize that yes this is it this person is it and uh, with the three of wands right there, uh, you are making a decision to move forward with this offer. For a small percentage of you, you could be leaving one person for another person. But in that case, um, I feel like you've always known that the person you're moving towards is the right person for you. It's just that you never let your feelings out. You never let your feelings on the surface. You always lied to yourself that, no, I'll be fine with the person I'm with right now, but um, you could be coming to a re realization that the person, the second person, is actually the one for you and you're making the right decision by moving towards that person. But that's just for a small percentage of you. For the majority of you, I think this is um, X marks, marks the spot with this new person and uh, your life is going to change forever but um, at some point in the future you'll look back at this decision and uh, you'll, you'll tell yourself I made the right thing, I made the right choice by moving forward with this person. 
Libre, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads, depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and this new person, and we'll get you an advice. Libra, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the two of wands, we have temperance, we have the star, and we have the eight of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or an Aquarius. It kind of looks like you'll have to work this week. Um, I know it's the, the holiday week for some people on the planet. Perhaps it's not a holiday week for you. But uh, the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of working. And I think with the um, Two of Wands and Temperance right there, you're trying to balance it out with your personal life. And uh, the star is either you're healing or you're telling yourself, you know, calm down, it's some extra money coming my way. Or it'll be uh, alright soon after. Right, or the star is actually a wish come true for you. Perhaps you're not realizing it right now, or perhaps you are. That uh, this side gig, or the fact that you have work right now, or have to work right now, this is actually a blessing in the sky. So, um, if you do have to work, don't think of it as something negative. I think this is uh, just for your own benefit and for the benefit of, of your relationship or your family. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Libra. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago. We have uh, the Two of Pentacles, we have Judgment, we have the Two of Wands, and we have the King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. This King of Wands is uh, probably a fire sign, Aries, the Aries, Sagittarius, who is coming back. Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. Or this person could be a business person. Or they're very fiery and very passionate. And uh, we have Judgment right there in the middle. Judgment is all about somebody trying to get back into your good graces. Um, but uh, we have the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Wands, and I think it's kind of symbolic <clears throat> that the cards came out this way. We have Judgment in the middle, and the two cards on both sides, um, which are about making a decision or trying to decide what you want to do here. And that's very Libra-like, <laughs> because I know you guys like to put everything on your little scale and weigh all pros and cons, take your time. I'm not judging you, it's just the way you are. And uh, it's, like I said, it's very symbolic. Um, I don't know if this is uh, if a real, uh, if a decision will be reached by the end of this week, because uh, we have two cards suggesting that you're not 100% sure. But I think at some point you'll have to make a decision, and uh, I decided not to clarify here because we have two cards of actually you doing some um, thought process. So um, I'll let you be, Libra. <laughs> Hopefully you'll make the right decision. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances. Uh, this week, Libra, we have Temperance, we have the Knight of Swords, we have the Three of Wands, and we have the King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, you could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, not a Libra, or Aquarius, or you could be dealing with an Earth Sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Most likely, you are dealing with this King of Pentacles, or you can be embracing the energy of the King of Pentacles. But if it's somebody um, you're dealing with, then this is either an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. Or this person is your boss at work, it could be your um, business partner, a colleague at work, somebody who does your finances, and I think they've got some news for you. Because we've got the Knight of Swords right there, this is either an air sign, Gemini, not a Libra or Aquarius, but the Knight of Swords is uh, the fastest knight out of all knights in the deck, and it's some news unexpected news I would have to assume reaching you and with the temperance card the first card that came out I think this is a suggestion for you just to take it easy don't um, don't fight it just don't fight back if this is, this is something uh, you're not really happy about perhaps you have to work this week that's what the news could be so just take it easy relax with the temperance card uh, be patient and uh, look into the future with the 301. See if you can actually benefit from it. What can you... Um, how can you make this situation work for you? If they want you to work during the week, during this week, and it's a holiday week for you, then uh, ask for something in return. Right? Uh, but don't, don't give them 
don't give them an ultimatum like if I work then you do this for me no just say by the way if uh, I work this week can you please also help me with that or you know don't be straightforward <laughs> don't tell them what's in it for me because I think it will it will blow up into your face if you do that just uh, you know be be a politician here and uh, Libra can definitely be a good politician um, so yeah that's what I got for you Let's see what you're not expecting to happen this week, uh, Libra. We have the Eight of Swords, we have the Nine of Swords, we have the Seven of Wands, and we have the Seven of uh, Swords on the bottom of the deck. Wow. So the Seven of Swords on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of a thief, this is a card of a deception, this is a card of somebody who is up to no good, um, somebody who sneaks around. So you got to be very careful this week. I don't know what this is all about. It could be a, a simple petty theft. Right? Or it could be something more serious. Somebody could stab you in the back at work, love, business, finances, friends, whoever it is. So be on the lookout. Look for red flags. Don't sign anything this week. If you have to sign something, give it to a lawyer first. If they tell you, oh no, don't give it to a lawyer, you need to sign it right now, or this is going to be a missed opportunity, yeah, let it be a missed opportunity, all right? Because uh, clearly somebody is up to no good here. So be careful. Don't make any um, moves you'll regret later. Don't say anything you may regret later, okay? Or, like I said, be on the lookout. If somebody is asking for some sort of an authorization at work, make sure they have the proper paperwork um, that they are actually authorized, okay? So be careful. Um, Alright, so that's what I got for you, Libra, hopefully it resonates, and uh, other than that, have a great week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing.